We have 3.7 million farmers and more than 10 million fish farms all across Indonesia. My dream was to operate my own fish farms, a thousand of fish farms. I tried to speak to many farmers back then, and I saw similar problems that the farmers face in feed costs. And from that discussion, impulsively, it's just a spontaneous idea that I pitched to a farmer, hey, what if I can build a machine that you can feed your fish from your phone? And they were very excited about it. My name is Gibran Nuzaifa. I'm CEO and co-founder of Efficiary. Our approach is really how we can help small-scale and smallholder farmers increase their productivity and provide efficiency on their biggest cost, which is feeding. So 70 to 90% of the total cost, and currently done manually by labor. So if they're managing 20 farms and they have to feed the fish by themselves, it, it was really a hard job to do. So that's why we started on building this efficiency feeder. So this is a machine to feed the fish automatically. It is connected to the cloud and connected to the sensor that can sense the fish appetite. So it can improve the feed efficiency or the feed conversion ratio, as well as on increasing the growth of the fish so they can shorten the harvest cycle. We already have 75,000 farmers, farmers cooperatives and farmers group. And in total, we have close to 250,000 ponds all across Indonesia. And we're already 27 provinces all across Indonesia and in, in 350 cities. I saw entrepreneurship as a tool to really change the livelihood of families. And building the business is not about creating your wealth for your own, but really building a community, building the impact for a bigger sector to more people. So I think that's my first tips for the entrepreneur. I think if you would like to be a tech founder, really ask to yourself whether this is what you really want to build and why. Find your why, find your reason. And the reason is not really about being a cool and being rich. It needs to be bigger reason than that that you would like to aspire to be. So for me personally, measuring my own success is on that you know, impact level. Because I want to see myself at the end of my life to contribute to solve world's hunger problem.